Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to do another Windows 8 tip here, and it's going to be all about the new File Explorer within Windows 8 and how to use the new File Explorer. Pretty cool. File Explorer pretty much is a rename of the original Windows Explorer that you saw in previous versions of Windows. They pretty much revamped it and pretty much taken all the tools that you would normally have to dig for between all the menus and stuff and pretty much put it right in front of you for easy one click access and even added some functionality as well too and it's pretty cool stuff so let's check it out here as i have the file explorer pretty much maximized you'll find it when you go into the desktop app and within uh within windows 8 and you'll see the little file, Ex file explorer icon here at the bottom you open it up i have it currently here on libraries but just want to show you what you pretty much get when you first look at it pretty basic pretty pretty familiar interface that you've seen before on previous versions of Windows using new ribbon format that we pretty much saw developing between Windows Vista, Windows 7 and to now. Do have really, really, really um, some cool options here at the top to add things if you want to add more stuff to the quick access such as undo or redo or if you want to remove things as well too you can just go like that you want to remove new folder you want to remove delete easy stuff you can just check off and such like that and anything any apps or any programs support that will be added within there for you to check on check uh, the quick access up there as well too you have the file in which you're familiar with the file uh, tab here opens new windows you can open up command prompt windows powershell you can delete your history if you want to and all those things you can pin you can pin uh, frequently access stuff as well too so that's pretty cool but it's pretty basic because they for the most part have gutted the file menu for the most part and pretty much spilt all its guts all within the ribbon basically all those features are pretty much within this new ribbon format and it's a dynamic ribbon as well too so that it'll uh, change depending upon what content that you're selecting. So this is what you basically see. You don't have any content selected. You get your home, which has copy, page, copy, path, move to, copy to, delete, rename, all basic stuff, select all, select none, inverse selection. And you have your share options as well to email, zip file. Uh, they pretty much brought out the sort of the zip file functionality that you had before and pretty much made it a little bit easier to use. You have your sharing between home groups. If you have your views, you can add the navigation pane, uh, preview pane, details pane. You can change the icon sizes as well, too. And as you can see, as I highlight, kind of hover over each one, it shows us kind of kind of gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. Sorts, groups, item checkboxes to add different options as well, too, if you want to add more to it. All stuff that you previously had and, and within deep menus that you had to kind of dig through and know where to go. Let's say we want to do some different things here. Let's say I hit this document uh, library right here. See it highlighted right here at the top in purple here. This library tools, and if I hit manage, it gives me options for that particular um, library um, information specifically. So that particular document file that you're clicking on gives you those options right up there. So I can manage my library. I can optimize the library specifically for different things, restore settings and such. And that'll kind of happen as you go through different parts of content. So we go to documents here. And we click on, uh, go ahead home, you click on documents here, and you can see I can copy paste two different things here. Highlight, you can see more things kind of pop up. Sharing folders, view, I can manage that folder as well too. And um, pretty cool, hit the zip file here. You can see that added another tab here for compression uh, folder tools. I can extract all, it's just a sample. Uh, if I hit extract all, it brings up the menu to extract files. And you can see it gives you different options, desktop music, pictures, documents, video, depending on what the zip file is and where you're extracting it and such there. So let's go ahead and uh, head to another one. If we head over to music, we'll say we go into the music folder here. We'll find some uh, songs here. We'll go into this here. We're going to uh, make it look easy, Future and Gucci Mane. Let's, uh, let's choose a different song. Let's say it's going to Bruno, maybe Bruno Mars. Yes, he's a cool song right, right now. I can find him. I have a lot of music, as you can see. I'm going to Bruno Mars, Locked Out of Heaven. If I hit on that MP3, let's say, right there, you can see that the music tool pops up and play, and I can play that song right away. It opens up Zoom. That's my default media player. It opens up that and stop playing the song. It's pretty cool. Um, you can play all, add the playlist, things like that, and um, change views, things like that. You can see I can burn this to a disk if I want to. You can add it to a zip file. All sorts of things like that. We're going to pictures for similar things there as well too. You can go, you can see the picture tool kind of popped up for managing. I can rotate the picture if I want to, rotate left, rotate right without even opening it up. Slideshow, set as a background. It can play too if I have like any wireless, you know, Wi-Fi connected devices. I can play to it, sending it to another device and, and such. It's pretty cool. All right, go down here to podcasts. Have any podcasts? Don't have any there. Video. 
pretty much the same similar options. We want to go to play so I can play a video if I want to. Um, play, add the playlist, things like that. I can manage the library. You can see, you kind of get the idea as content dynamically changes. Let's say if I hit on a disk, so like the local disk right here, my C, my C drive, you can see disk tools pops up. You can see and I have options for BitLocker encryption now, optimizing for defragmentation and cleanup format, all those sorts of things like that. Um, let's say we go, we can do the same thing. See on the video drive, same similar options show up. Let's say we go here to the backup and I have an ISO file here. If I click on that, you can see that this image tool pops up as well. Bring that up, I can mount the ISO, I can burn it to a disk if I want to. So it's pretty cool. You can see really just giving you the, quick access to those tools that you normally have the right click or dig through menus to kind of access. Another thing that they've added on here is um, is a cool new way to kind of see the sort of how your file transfers with the new file transfer menu. We'll use this uh, CTA 2011 folder to see how big it is. It is 21.7 gigabytes, a lot of HD video files, and I want to send it to my desktop for some reason. Let's drag it over here to desktop, drop it within there. And you will see, as it pops up here, this new sort of interface that kind of pops up that shows you sort of the drive speed. Uh, so as far as transfer speeds are concerned, you can see how much time remaining, how much is transferred over. You can actually pause the transfer if you want to. Stop it right there. If you need to shut down or do something else, you can um, start the transfer again. It'll start right back up. You can see sort of the transfer speeds. So that's really cool for people that are really, really into sort of seeing what the drive speeds, uh, transfer speeds are between the different drives within a system, also within a network drive. This similar thing will kind of pop up as well, too. And you can see, you know, copying 109 items from backup X to desktop. You can also see fewer details. This is what usually will pop up for people when they first look at a. Uh, First look at the, um, first loaded up here with the File Explorer, which is just a basic, simple, you just see the simple uh, bar just going over and the percentage and stuff, which you're normally used to. Hit that more detail, you get that more detail that most advanced users will be looking for. And to stop it, just hit X right there, stops the transfer right away. So that's pretty cool they've added that. You can see they've kind of redesigned a little bit here as far as the address bar. Not too much difference in, in terms of how, how it functions, but some, but pretty much kind of a new look to match Windows 8. You have the search functionality right over there. So overall, I think you guys kind of get the idea kind of how the File Explorer works there. It's a really much more advanced tool that gives you much more functionality and pretty much pulls all those tools that you previously had in Windows before it puts it right at your fingertips to really easy access to see it right there, click it and get it going for you there. So that's just a quick look at the Fog Explorer. If you have any questions at all, be sure to post them on uh, uh, a comment right here below on this YouTube video. Post them at BW1.com as well. Also subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter. Connect with us on all our social networks on Facebook, fan page, Google Plus, Pinterest. You guys know we're on pretty much all the social networks out there. The link is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.